Hello everyone. Welcome to Software Academy. Let me introduce you to the most popular recent technology which is none other than DevOps. Let's get started. Before understanding what DevOps is, let us discuss some of the common problems the organizations would be facing in developing a software quality product. So the first thing which we can discuss is fear of change. Once an application is delivered to the customer, the business tends to be very much scared of the change. They suspect whether the changed feature would work smoothly without disturbing the other modules and also they suspect generally like whether the platform can support this change or not. Whatever the change it is, whether it's a small change or a big change. To be on the safer side, even the management puts lot of policies and approvals in place to make any change and overall this leads to lot of development time and deployment time for implementing that change. The next problem to be discussed is risky deployments. So all of us might have experienced this situation. Imagine the big day is approaching. It's time to deploy the code on the production. But still lot of questions are still going in our minds like will the code work as expected in the live environment? Will it be able to cope up with the load? What would be the business loss if the deployment fails? For example, consider if the net banking of any particular bank goes down post your deployment. Just imagine the situation. No one would be able to make any transactions. It leads to bank reputation loss and so much financial loss. And the worst part is imagine if it fails on the festival when most of the customers would be sending money to their families, shopping gifts and doing many other online activities, online banking activities. Oh my God, unimaginable. Hence, we would always consider deployments are risky. The next one to discuss is it works on my machine. If you are from dev team or QA team, this sentence might not be new to you. Once the code is developed by the developers and released to the QA team for testing, the QA team would come up with certain bugs they have encountered and the development team would immediately defend themselves saying that it works on my machine and there might be problem with your testing environment. How many of you have heard this or said this? Yeah, don't lie. So even though this seems meaningless, the situation like this happens frequently in an organization and this would take considerable time to figure out the actual issue. And this factor would also contribute to the delay of the deliverables. Do you agree? So the next problem which we can discuss is working in silos. As you are already aware in most of the projects, the project team might split into a separate teams like developers team, testers team, release managers team and sysadmins team. They're working in separate silos. I mean as a separate teams. So from the final product perspective, splitting team like this is of utter waste. There is no use. I'll tell you why I'm saying this. Because if the team is split in this way, what they have, they have my team and other team mentality. You might have seen this already in your project or in your organization. So this would add up to increase in time for any communication to happen between teams. In that case, when will you fix the problems? How much time it would take to figure out the issues, to have a communication, proper communication, and when the issue will be fixed? Because they are focused only about their team and their progress, but not about the final product, the final software which you are going to deliver. So this is the reason I have said setting up a team like this is of utter waste. So these are the general problems the organizations would be facing to develop any product which should be of high software quality and reliable. But understand one thing, how is the competition now? Everything became global and things move up in rocket speed. When you are trying to fix an issue, someone might have already created and launched a revolutionary product. So to beat out the competition and to fix these issues, what is the solution? You guys tell me what is the solution. Yeah. 
the solution adopted by many tech giants is devops so let's see how this would help the organizations to outperform so now what exactly is devops in a nutshell devops is the uses of right tools and culture to deliver the quality product in less time and to beat out the competition so basically devops emphasizes two things to solve out all these issues the first thing is a cultural level change has to be brought in an organization so which would help all the teams to communicate properly without any egos also by the word devops you can understand it is the combination of two words development plus operations team so what we can understand is as we discussed before the problem with silos and why and it is of utter waste so what we can do we can remove the silos working style and we have to incorporate a single team culture with development team qa team release engineer team admin team to work together with a proper communication and collaboration by doing this all of them work on a common goal that is the delivery of final product with best quality in least time and the second thing which devops emphasizes is to automate the various stages involved in the total software development plus deployment process by using wide range of devops tools so devops is combination of tools plus culture uses of devops would lead to multiple benefits as you can see here it helps us to deliver a quality product deploying the code faster in multiple environments as we do we do it in uat staging production and this could lead to faster product delivery and this would obviously lead to happy customers also as we discuss since we are making change in the culture this would also lead to happy teams which would increase their productivity these are some of the popular companies which have used devops for their processes and have seen the success and also there are many other companies who started exploring devops and hiring the devops engineers and there should be really some measurable benefits right for these organizations to run after the devops so what are those let's see them every year puppet conducts a survey for more than 25000 technical professionals worldwide to understand how devops practices and tools are helping organizations so as per the findings what they understood for the year 2016 is as you can see here the teams using devops would deploy 200 times faster than the ones not using devops also they have 2.5 times shorter lead times that means they are taking less time to complete the project from the initiation of the project until the final delivery so you you can understand it is very less compared to the other teams who are not using devops also you can see here these teams are also having three times lower change failure rate this means they are taking uh this means whenever they are implementing changes they experience lower failures so they are completing the changes with less failures also whenever any failure occurs they are able to recover 24 times faster and also as you can see these teams are spending 50% less time in fixing the security issues because they are already addressing the security issues at each stage during the software development and deployment process that is the reason uh, it's not required for them to break their heads at the end also finally as you can see they are spending 22% less time on unplanned work or rework this means they are actually getting the actual work done more work done so in this session we have seen what devops is and i have given you a brief explanation of devops tools and culture but understanding the devops culture and tool chain is really important to work on devops hence i would like to take a separate session on these topics explaining how exactly to implement devops culture in an organization and also a separate session on 
what are the different tools used in devops and how they could automate the process and save time so in the next session let us see how to implement the devops culture happy learning thank you please subscribe to software academy